With Brian Banifatemi and Tim Schwartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're thrilled to have you with us. And over the years, the league has continued to add games to the regular season. Do you think that process is complete, or are they still adding to the schedule? That's a good question. I think we're pretty close to the right amount of games. The calendar that runs just over four months, there's really only so many games you can squeeze in. And when you take a look over at the NBA on player health, so I would agree. I think we're at a pretty good number. Inside. Carter, that's good. Fantastic pass. And the defense is taking a big chance, leaving her open behind the arc. And I'm not sure I'm okay with that game plan. Here's Paris to the inside. Laney, good. Knows how to score it. To the middle. Here's Carter. Banked in off the glass. Ran her defenders. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Here's Magbagor. And she makes good on the layup. I like how Mag... Top of the key. No good there. Here's Paris. And Carter comes to help. On, defended by Carter, and that one's good. Incredible height, born to dominate around the basket. Down low, it's stolen by Honshu. Pass to Paris. Here's Han. Score the basket. Her great pass by Honshu with her height. Han has an unobstructed view of the floor. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Here's Carter. She gets that one. Shots are falling. She's having a strong quarter. Here's Paris. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to Thornton. Side for Laney. And good. Coming off the assist by Bob of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring from the paint. You know, really, that's why they're on this run. You get that, that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to drop shots. Than you. Yep, that one goes. Up as a defender, it just frustrates you because you just don't know how to play her. Now here's Laney. He has five to the inside. That's in. Coming oh, right now. Here's Carter. She has six. All sorts of time. On grabs the miss. Yeah, she's been off her game this quarter. Just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go down. Laney outside. Pass to Han. Back to Laney. And the layup's good off the glass. Line. So after making the first, she goes one for two. Pass to Dolson. And she banks in the layups. Especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Drills the three-pointer. Of all the players you want to leave open out on the perimeter, she is the last person on the list. Now Johannes shoots it. Marshall grabs the board. Pulls up, high post, good on that jump shot. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Over the top of it, and you need some help as well. Now here is Thornton. And here is Johannes. Here is Dolson. Takes the elbow jumper and great. So far so good for them at the offensive end in the early going. Their field goal percentage is terrific. Exactly the start they were hoping for. 
20 feet out, and the shot goes down. Neither team keep this up. Offensively, at least. Neither team's done jack on D yet. That's fine with me. Now, here is Dolson. Soft touch off the glass. Especially inside. Yeah, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points from close range, so I'd have to agree. Here's Shorty. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Great quarter for her. And here is Magvador. Screen by Magvador. Launches a three, drains it from beyond the arc. Three points. She is setting this place on fire. Her shooting has been off the charts. Action for the start of the second quarter in just a bit. Neither team able to jump out ahead as we begin the second quarter. It's been a well-oiled machine and offense for them so far. And they've kept the ball moving and their opponents chasing it. You know, it's kind of like a dog chasing their tail, just can't get enough. That's... Right side, Carter. Pass to Achanwa. And it's good, two points. So smart game. Achanwa adapts to the defense and makes the right read. Out to the wing, from the arc, and the three ball is good. Outside, Carter. Inside, John one. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Pass to Johannes. From 13, and her third shot of the night, no good. 0 for 3. From deep, Mr. Ball meets Mr. Basket for a fifth half three. Uh, Chanwa pulls it in. Quarter number two, and around three minutes gone by. Pass to Carter. Now Johannes. And she finishes. Just five to shoot. Pass to Achanwa. And the basket is good. She's coming to life after a slow. Pass to Achanwa. And it's Dolson with the rebound. Here's the three. Nailed from three point land. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Now here's Laney. Defended by Carter. And good that time. Shoddy D there. They gotta at least get a finger on her. Pass to Carter. Well, another foul will give her three before the half. That's something to keep an eye on. Substitution for your home team. There's Carter. He's got 12. From downtown, it is good, and it is her sixth make. A consistent shooting. It's helped them take this lead. Laney outside. And right away, they met. Another big night from Laney. You know, she just dreams of games like this. When we talk about the best passer in league history, uh, it's got to be Courtney Vandersloot, right? Oh, yeah. And honestly, it's not even a huge debate. Vandersloot, best career average ever by far. Probably the most fun player to run with. Pass to Han. Laney. Got a hand on it. Three-pointer. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor like just about all her points are coming from deep. On with the ball. Defended by Achanwa. Back to Laney. Here's the break. 
Marshall with the bucket. A nice fast break from Vic. Mascalini, Al Hahn. Laney, it falls for her seventh bucket of the time. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. Jacks up a three, drops in the tray. Timeout, timeout. That assist got a little nod from her teammate after the bucket. Started. Paris, quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Pass to Han. Back to Laney. Oh, and count the basket. She was fouled, and she's going to the line for one more. She'll be shooting her first free throw of the game. A great up. Pulls up. No bucket, and that's miss number six. He's made seven. Pass to Paris. Norton. Now Laney. Here's Han. Defended by Carter. And that one's good. Han. Ball creating a great look. Outside Carter. From outside the arc. That's a basket. It's her eighth from the distance to the three-point shot. And it's killing them for the last five makes coming from long range. Laney outside. Here's Han. And a great assist by Laney as that one goes in. They need to get way more disruptive defensively. They just can't keep allowing these easy buckets. You know, get a little physical. Show some effort. Defensively, that's job number one. Effort, nothing easy inside. Yet a look. Carter with it. To the wing, right side. The baseline, Jay. And she hits the jump shot. You know, you look, they just jump out at you. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been key. It's just a different mindset these teams have had. Laney for three. Sinks the three pointer. This one. With one on the clock. Almost seven feet. I'm shooting like his eighth drop. And so that brings the first half to a close. The visiting team. They're up by eight. And we'll be back. All right, the second half beginning in a moment. Really an incredible game from Carter. She had the magic touch in terms of setting up her teammates. Just a pile of assists for her. Which isn't a very common occurrence for her. You know, typically she's more of a finisher, but that's just not the case in this one. No problems knocking that one down. Three. That's what shook her, man. It was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. And if you're just joining us, we played just over a minute here in the third. Pass to Paris. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Fires for three. Good on the triple. Good movement of the ball from A. Miles. The rebound by Paris. Can't connect there, but still a red hot start to the half, hitting four of the first five. Count it. To the paint, Carter. And she uses the glass on the layup. She's going to go to score as far. And when you look at the game of Courtney Vandersloot, what impresses you the most about her? I would say just her overall basketball IQ. With more than a decade's worth of experience in the league, she is so smart at knowing when to shoot, when to pass, and when to go after steals. Shot clock at five, hits the three-point bomb. That is some dime dropping, exquisite assist. Off the mark there with the three. Boss sets a screen. Gets it to fall and she's now 10 of 15 on the game. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the double team with the Chanwa. 
Tries it from 19. Yep, that one goes. Would not let her get comfortable in the catch and fire. To the right side. Fires the three. Buries it from three-point range. There's been a huge discrepancy between the... Ooh, no luck on that one. Outside of Chanwa. 20 feet out, and she gets the bucket. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Pass to Laney. 13 feet out, buries the jump shot. Easy money for... Now here is Boss. D right on her. The three connects three. from three-point range. A great game for her offensively. Now here's Shorty. Boss sets a screen. An easy two points on the layup. No misses spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. To the inside. Achanwa, good. The athleticism from Achanwa. So far, going for more of an inside game here in the second half. Makes it off the glass. They're in the position they're in. Now Johannes. Pass to Dolson. To the middle. And she takes it in for the layup off of from down low. Six to shoot. And here's Johannes. Connects on the foul. Her plan was defensively that time. It did not work. Not if it results in that shot. Right side Carter. Nails the wide open jump shot. They've been able to depend on her chances, any shot she's had. And if they want to make things even easier on themselves here late in the ball game, I got an idea. Just keep getting her the basketball. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle today. And control the boards has given them control of this game. Three. Another three. And the did. Five up, five down for her so far. Moving it around, eight of the last 10 points coming off assists. Nothing makes a coach happier than a display of pure selfless teamwork. Absolutely. Too long in the paint, and she's hit with a three-second violation. And she shows the focus there, nails the technical. Here's Paris. Pass to Laney. Now here's Han. Defended by Magdagor. Han, no good. Launches it. Gets a three pointer to fall. They came out of halftime smoking a light. Laney, that's in, coming off an assist from Anshu. Well, despite the play of the team, she has done exceptionally well here. All right, fans, that was your new Geek Squad. Make some noise. Go, 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 go. Pass to Carter for three. Sinks the triple. That's two bombs in a row from Lockheed Up. The defense has stepped slow. They've got to take away that airspace. Tipped away, pushing it up. Hey, yo, right the here. shot's Number good. Three. She's doing everything. No matter what the defense has done, she's had an answer. Laney outside. Trains the three-pointer. There you go. To the left side wing. The three is up. Oh. The putback. It's good on the putback. 
Their rebounding has been off the chart today, guys, and that's the number one reason why this game is out of hand right now. Exactly. Their lead is not surprising, given their advantage on the glass. And the ball is tied up. Jump on, jump on. So we'll have a jump ball. You two players. Pass to Han. Here's Paris, defended by Carter. Laney outside. The three-pointer is on target. A three-level scorer. We see Thornton score from inside, outside, and in between. That's part of what makes her such a tough cover. Now here's Swish. Out to the right wing. It's Ezzy Megbegor, high post. Shot clock at six. Outside, Carter. Drills it from outside. She has put her foot on the... That's tipped. Pass to Paris. On with the ball. Laney outside. From past the arc. And she's good on the three ball. Pass to Carter. The boss sets a screen. And it's in. She's got a lot of fun. Out to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. And we're going to have a jump It'll ball. A jump it's ball. tied up there. Just four to shoot. Trying her luck from deep. That one, no good. Here's Carter. And the three off target. Here's Paris. Laney outside. It's good from long. Believe it, they cannot forget about her like that. She's not gonna miss that open look. Left side, Carter. The shake. And the layup is up and in. Finally showing some signs of life offensively, but too bad it's past the point where it'll do them much good. Yeah, absolutely. Now Shorty. Let's go with a three. Bangs home the trifecta. Team in this one. And this one was all over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, but they never got it. Yeah, I mean, they rolled this one. They made it look simple and efficient performance at both the offensive and defensive ends. And that'll wrap it up.
Your teammate Hannah Hildago had a career night, had 42 points. What is your initial reaction? What is your thoughts on how Hannah Hildago has helped this team be undefeated so far in the season? You know, one thing that you could say about Hannah is that she's very humble. She's very humble, and she was she's always going to keep God first. But me personally, I'm going to just keep it 100% real and honest. If you don't know who Hannah Hildago is by now, after the season she's been having so far, get from under that rock. Simple. Get from under that rock. She's shown time and time again this season that she's top three guard in the league and not number three. So if you don't know who that is, put some respect on her name. Put some respect on Double H name. Period. She's shown time and time again that she's one of the best players in college. In this game, she showed once again that she's one of the best scorers in the country. Put some respect on Hanny O'Doggo's name. If you don't know who she is by now, I don't know what to tell you. Last game, she dropped 32 points. Now this game, she added 10 more to that to drop 42 points. So if you don't know who that is, I don't know. If you don't know who Hanel Doggo is by now, I don't know what to tell you. I like how you speak highly of your teammates, as is shown on the court that you guys are undefeated. Your team chemistry shows it on the court. Speaking of team chemistry, it seems like you guys are in a couple of scuffles here tonight versus North Carolina. Do you care to describe what happened or, you know, at least let us know what led to that situation? I mean, yeah, those, those are my sisters. Like, we go to war for each other every night. We hang out every day. And especially if my teammate has a career night, I'm going to say something about it. Because a lot of people don't, especially with Hanny Hidalgo, they're not, they're not talking about it enough. They're not talking about her enough in general. So I feel like somebody had to say something. But as far as the the game, the the, the, the fights and all of that, it got heated. I mean, they feel like they could hang with us the first quarter. They were talking a lot of mess. They feel like they could give us the first loss, but, you know, we had to put them in their place. We had to let them know that we're the, we're the queens of the ACC. <laughs> and we've played them, it feels like, a thousand times already, and we had to just let them know that we're not going to back down. We don't run from no smoke from anybody. One last question. Have you noticed that certain teams, they may not score a lot of points versus other teams, but when they play you guys, they have a career night? Honestly, I have noticed that. Like, there, I'm not going to say any names, but there have been some players that will score maybe like three points, five points the previous games, but then versus us, they drop like 30 and 40 28, 38 points against us. Maybe it's a defensive problem with us, but I know I'm not tripping when I when I see some of these players' stat lines before the game, and they have like no points, five points, three points versus other competition, and then versus us, they're 2018 LeBron all over again. So I don't know, but we'll adjust the next time and. Hopefully they don't score 50 points on this like what happened tonight.